I developed a minor toothache the day after Thanksgiving. I know the date because we had a gig on the 27th and I remember commenting to my producing partner, Alexia, that I hoped it wouldn't interfere with my singing. I keep amoxicillin in the house to deal with my occasional ear infections. I had started taking those the day before Thanksgiving, November 26th. The toothache quickly disappeared and I stopped taking the mox. That might have been a big mistake. We played a bar gig on December 10th. Felt great, no problem. But several days after that, that minor toothache came back. It was maybe the 15th or 16th. So I started in with the amoxicillin again. This time the soreness didn't go away. Instead, it grew a little bit every day. I was still eating normally though. Somewhere around this time, I bit into something hard and heard a cracking sound. Uh-oh, it sure sounded like a tooth breaking, but I looked and didn't find anything, so I put it out of my mind. The area in question is my upper right front jaw. The gum was starting to get swollen, but no particular tooth was clearly the problem. I was taking one MOX capsule daily to begin with and then went to two a day on the weekend before Christmas. Pretty soon I was doing ibuprofen three or four times a day too. That Tuesday, I spent a full day out in my yard preparing the RV where I live for the rainstorms that were bearing down on LA. It was a nice productive day. I worked until dark, and by then I'd covered the whole RV and its porch with a reinforcing layer of plastic tarp. This is a vintage Holiday Rambler, and it's sheathed in aircraft aluminum. I've never had a roof leak, but I cover it up just in case. A leaky roof in a motorhome is bad news. The next day, Wednesday the 22nd, I woke up with a swollen right cheek and a marked uptick in jaw pain. Clearly, the amoxicillin was not doing the job. Now I was trying to convince myself that I might have a sinus infection. The swelling seemed to coincide with that lower front bit of the sinus. Whatever the case, I needed help. I spent Wednesday night researching urgent care facilities in my area. I selected one and was there when they opened Thursday morning. They signed me in and told me to go home and wait to be summoned by text message. There were 32 patients ahead of me. It took seven hours of waiting before I saw a doctor. A young Asian female, as expected, who was hilariously overprotected against the COVID germs I wasn't carrying. A mask with a filter disc front and center and also a full face shield. She wasn't falling for the sinus infection thing. She was thinking abscess in my jaw and recommended that I head for the nearest CT scan. I said no thanks and asked for the strongest antibiotics she could prescribe. She started me off with a huge shot to my haunch. You think your booster hurt? Don't make me laugh. But soon I was limping into Walgreens with scrip in hand. By morning, Christmas Eve, the pain was down a little, but the swelling on my right cheek seemed to be hardening around its edges. The ibuprofen was doing a good job though, so that evening I went to my daughter's house for dinner. I was swollen and weird looking, but we had a nice time. Christmas morning, though, I unwrapped a big box of pain. The new antibiotics had so far done nothing to the infection except piss it off. My gums were swollen and throbbing. I took more ibuprofen and went for a walk. While walking, I ran my tongue along the teeth on that side and found the broken tooth. The bicuspid next to my right top canine split in half front to back. I guess the swelling had opened up the gap. I'd planned to join a big group of musician friends for our annual Christmas dinner and song circle. Instead, I was stuck at home alone with a biological war raging in my head. All during that evening, people texted me their best wishes and I asked every one to refer me to a dentist. One of these, my pal Daniel Levitin, connected me to a good friend of his who was also an ace dentist. He gave me the doctor's office number and his personal cell phone, told me to text him. On Sunday morning, I did. Dr. Martin Courtney in Northridge. He got right back to me. He's out of the office till January 3rd, but he listened to my story. He had me take some pics with my phone to send him. I'm right-handed and hold a camera with that hand. So I had to reach my left arm over my head and use my fingers to claw back my painfully swollen lip to expose the now very swollen gum. That gum now showed a spot of vivid white that looked like the angriest zit ever to wreck a prom picture. Yep, he said, you've probably got an abscess. He sent me the info on a couple of oral surgeons in my area, mentioning that the broken tooth would probably need to go and that a bone graft might also be needed. Things went from bad to worse that day. Now I was really hurting. I found myself online researching the process of lancing an abscess. 
I got out my sharpest implements, small box cutters, sewing needles, and prepared to do whatever I had to do to get some relief. I called Alexia. She thought home surgery was a bad idea. I told her I'd wait until Monday morning and we'd see. Meanwhile, she searched the web for emergency dentists. That night, Sunday night, I was in bed watching season two of Ozark when I noticed a rank taste in my mouth. I rushed to the bathroom mirror and pulled back my lip to see bloody fluid streaming from the nasty pustule that had finally popped itself. I spent the next 20 minutes rinsing my mouth with cool water as my whole nervous system breathed a sigh of relief. And finally at 3 a.m., I fell into a blissful slumber. In the morning, the pain was all but gone. My friends Ken and Bev referred me to a dentist in my area. I have an appointment this afternoon at 3.30. Who knows what will happen there? I figured I'd better record this now because I might not be able to talk for a while. Don't worry, I won't stop taking the antibiotics like I did in November. Doing that too soon probably created the MOX-resistant super bacteria that stole Christmas. I hope your holiday was better than mine and that we all have a new year better than the last two. God knows it can't be much worse. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and then click the little bell to get notifications.